Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dunkel. I want to show you how to load Screencastify. So what you need to do is you need to be in Google Chrome and go to the website www.screencastify.com. When you get there, you will have an Install Now button. If you don't see the Install Now button, that lets you know you've already have it installed and it will say congratulations, you have it installed. But if you don't have it installed, you just simply click on the button for Install Now. You're going to get a pop-up asking you to add the extension. So say Add Extension. And in just a few moments, you'll see something pop up here, like we just see, and it'll disappear. And what you want to look for is over here in the upper right, when it installs, you're going to get a new icon, and it's going to show you. It looks like a little film strip, and it says it's now loaded. So from here on out, every time you open up Google Chrome, you should see this little film strip icon. Now what this allows you to do is you can be on any tab or any, you know, any place in Google Chrome and go ahead and start Screencastify and start recording. So here's how you do it. You simply click on the icon and when you click on the icon the very first time you're going to need to set up a few things. But you only have to do this once. So here's what you're going to see. <clears throat> you're going to need to allow um, voice and camera recording. So yours may look slightly different. You may have a button that says something about camera recording. You click on that and say allow and you'll get a little checkbox there. Then down here, choose locally on this device. That's where it's going to save your recordings. Then you're going to have an option for set up tab recording. Go ahead and click on it and say allow. And that's all you have to do. It's basically just allow everything and save locally. So from here on out, you're in good shape. Now here you'll notice it says get started. If I click on that, that'll actually walk you through a video about getting started. And it kind of tells you what you need to do, but we're not going to, um, we're not going to deal with that. So let's close that tab there. Okay. Now, <clears throat> from this point forward, any website you're on, it can even be a gaming site, any website you, that you're on, you can record. So let's go here to CNN.com, just a new site. And so in order to record, what you do is you click on your film strip icon and it's going to bring up a menu with a few options here. And so one of the options is to do a tab recording. If you do a tab recording, that's going to, that's going to allow you to record whatever's in the tab you have open. So for instance, I could record anything I'm doing here on the CNN.com tab, but if I go to another tab, it's not going to record. If you go to desktop recording, that's going to allow you to record anything that's on your desktop. So for instance, I could start recording here and then minimize it, open up another program or do whatever, and it's going to record it all. You want to make sure that your microphone, that when you're talking, like you see here, notice how it goes from green to red, and basically it's picking up the sound of my voice, and you want to make sure that's happening. If you're not seeing anything here um, in the voice monitor, what you need to do is follow these steps. So let me show you how to troubleshoot it just quickly. Come down here to the bottom of your screen. First off, make sure that your speaker is turned up. So you want your speaker itself turned up. But then we're going to come back down. Oops, clicked on the calendar there. Come back to the uh, speaker and right click. And you're going to choose recording devices. And when you choose recording devices, you're going to get a pop-up window. And you want to look for the one that says microphone array. Now you can see mine's working. As I talk, these little bars move. But yours, if it's not working, it'll just be kind of grayed out here. So what you're going to do is right click on microphone array and choose properties. Or you can just double click on it. So click, click, either way. That's going to take you to the properties for the microphone array. Then you need to go to the tab that says levels. And more than likely, if you're not seeing anything, one of two things is happening. And you want the little bar to be over here closer to the right. You know, probably the 80s or 90s is fine. So you click OK, and then you click OK, and now you're good. So again, tab recording allows you to record with just what's on the tab. Desktop allows you to record everything that's happening on your desktop. You can also embed your webcam. If you click on this box, what it's going to do is when you start recording, it will turn on your webcam and record you. And as you can see here, this is showing you where it's going to put the little webcam video. So in this situation, it would put it in the bottom right. 
If I want to move it elsewhere, I can click on it and maybe I want it in the bottom left instead. So let me do a quick little recording and you'll see how this works. So I'm going to click start recording. And so here we go. My uh, webcam is recording. Now in this case, I chose desktop. So it's asking me a question. Do I want to record the entire screen or I just want to record that tab? I'm going to choose entire screen and say share. And so now that I'm recording, what's going to happen, you're going to get a little red button up here, let you know that you're recording. So right now it's recording me. Sometimes this Dell webcam comes up, this little panel. You may or may not actually be seeing that. <clears throat> but basically, you know, it's recording. So the little light on your um, webcam will turn on. So remember, look at your camera, you know, if you can. And <clears throat> basically just do whatever it is you need to do. And when you're done, come up here, click the stop button or click the little red button to stop. And when you click it and you hit stop, what it's going to do, it's going to take you to a preview window. And when that preview window so comes now out. now I'm recording what's going to happen, you can get a little red button up here. Okay. So now in the preview, it's playing back what I recorded. Uh, if you don't like it, you can delete it. If you have a YouTube channel, you can come over here to YouTube and actually just share it to your YouTube channel. Or you can download it, save to disk. And so uh, when you do this, you just simply click on save to disk and then choose save to disk. And it's going to save it to your downloads folder. So one way, whenever this happens and you save something from the browser, just click on this little pull down menu right here and you can do show in folder and it will show you exactly what folder it's in. In this case, it's in my downloads folder. And here it is down here, Untitled Screencast WebM. Now, one thing to point out about this is I can't take this video and bring it straight into PowerPoint. There's an extra step for that, so I'll show you how to do that in our next video. So if you have any questions, as always, just feel free to ask, but watch out for the other videos because I have some tutorials in here to help you. And don't forget the power of Google and YouTube when you have questions. Thank you very much.